back to my channel. Today we will continue with chapter 8, Physical Optics. So in this video, we are going to learn 8.4, Difference of Refracted Light, which is thin film. So thin film here, we have two cases. Case 1 is when our refracted ray is from 1, from less than to denser, and then from denser to more denser. Okay, so for this case, Okay, N1 is smaller than N2 and N2 is smaller than N3. So for case 1, constructive equation is 2 NP equals to M lambda, where M must equal to 1. Okay, because when M equals to 1, we will get the minimum thickness. Okay, so why M cannot equal to 0? Because when M equals to 0, our thickness will equal to 0. Okay, so if the thickness equals to 0, meaning that there's no thin frame. Okay, for destructive, 2 NT equals to M plus half lambda and M can equal to 0 because when M equals to 0, at least we still have half lambda. Okay, for case 2 is less than to denser and then from denser to less than. Okay, meaning that N1 is smaller than N2. Okay, but N2 is greater than, than N3. Okay, so for case 2, constructive is 2NT equals to M plus half lambda and M is equal to 0. For destructive is 2NT equals to M lambda when, when M equals to 1. Okay, M cannot equal to 0 because if M equals to 0, thickness will become 0. Okay, so this is the equations that we will use. Okay, so these are the equations that we will use for thin film. Okay, so let us look at the example. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with chapter 8, Physical Optics. So in this video, we are going to learn 8.4, Interference of Refracted Light, which is thin film. So thin film here, we have two cases. Case 1 is when our refracted ray is from 1, from less than to denser, and then from denser to more denser okay so for this case meaning that our n1 is greater than okay n1 is smaller than n2 and n2 is smaller than n3 so for case 1 constructive equation is 2nt equals to m lambda where m must equal to 1 okay because when m equals to 1, we will get the minimum thickness, okay? So why M cannot equal to 0? Because when M equals to 0, our thickness will equal to 0, okay? So if the thickness equals to 0, meaning that there's no thin frame, okay? For destructive, 2NT equals to M plus half lambda and M can equal to 0 because when M equals to 0, at least we still have half lambda, okay? For case 2 is less than to denser and then from denser to less than, okay? Meaning that N1 is smaller than N2, okay, but N2 is greater than N1, then N3, okay. So for case 2, constructive is 2NT equals to M plus half lambda and M is equal to 0. For destructive is 2NT equals to M lambda where M equals to 0 again when M equals to 1 Okay, M cannot equal to 0 because if M equals to 0, thickness will become 0. Okay, so this is the equations that we will use. Okay, so these are the equations that we will use for thin film. Okay, so let us look at the example. Example 6. Nearly normal incident while light fall onto the glass block whose surface is coated with a uniform transparent film. The refracted index of the frame is 1.38 and the refracted index for the glass block is 1.52 Determine the minimum thickness of the frame which could reduce the refractions Okay, so when the question says reduce, meaning that it's actually destructive Okay, so here we have three layers The first layer here is actually air Second layer is the thin frame, 1.38 And the third layer is the glass block Okay, so this is actually case 1 Okay and because the question mentioned reduce the refraction, so this is case 1 and then destructive equation. So the equation will equal to 2NT equals to M plus half lambda. Okay, so when you want to find the minimum thickness, here M must equal to 0. Okay, so we substitute 2N, N is the refractive index for the thin frame. So and here is 1.38, T equals to 0 0.5 lambda, 500 nanometer. Okay, therefore, the minimum thickness is equal to 90.6 nanometer. Okay, next we go to example 7. No, nearly normal incident light of the wavelength 600 nanometer fall onto a thin uniform transparent frame in the air. The refracting index of the frame is 1.34. A very bright ray reflected by the surface of the frame is observed. Okay, so the words observed here actually meaning that this is a constructive interference. 
Okay, so determine the minimum thickness. So we will, must draw out first, okay, so to determine uh, case 1 or case 2. So the first layer is 1, second layer is 1.34, and the second layer actually is thin frame. And third layer is actually is 0, okay, it's 1.0 because it's not mentioned, meaning that it's in the end. So for this case, it's actually case 2, okay, case 2, and we want to find constructive. So case 2 constructive equation is 2 and t equals to m plus half lambda. Okay, where m similar m equals to 0, so I substitute 2, n is 1.34 times the thickness equals to 0 0.5 lambda, where the lambda is 600 nanometer. Okay, therefore, our thickness, for example, number 7 is equal to 112 nanometer. Okay, next example, number 8. A white light is incident on the soup film. With the refracted index of 1.3 in the air, the refracted light looks bluish because the red light is given 670 nanometer is absent in the reflection. So absent meaning that hilang, okay? So it's actually destructive. Okay, destructive interference. So state the condition of the destructive. So we must draw out first. So this is actually case one or case two. Okay, so here is the soup bubble. So we know that uh, the first layer is air, second layer is the thin frame, uh, the soup frame, 1.3, and the third layer inside is air. Okay, so this is actually case 2. Okay, then we want to find destructive. Case 2, destructive is equal to 2 and t equals to m lambda. So this is the condition. Okay, next we want to find the minimum thickness uh, where 2 and t equals to m lambda. Okay, so t will equal to m. Okay, m here we must substitute 1. Lambda is 670 nano over 2n. Okay, where n is the refracted index 1.3. Okay, so the minimum thickness, for example, a is 2.58 power of negative 7 meter. Okay, next, example number 9. A white light is incident. A white light is incident normally on the lens of 1.52 and coated with the frame of 1.38. Find the minimum thickness of the film. Will the yellow light of the wavelength 550 nanometer be missing in the refracted light? Missing meaning that disappear. So when disappear meaning that this is actually destructive. Okay, so the first layer here okay, is um, air. Second layer is the soap film. The second layer is the thin film 1.38. Okay, and the third layer is the lens, uh, 1.52. So this is actually case 1. Okay, case 1, and then because the question mentioned missing uh, or destructive, so case 1 destructive is 2 and t equals to m plus half lambda. Okay, so we substitute in 2 and is 1.38, t we don't know, m because this is the minimum thickness, meaning that m we should start from 0, so this is 0. Okay, therefore it's equal to 0 0.5 lambda. Lambda is 550 lambda. Okay, therefore, the minimum thickness, for example, number 9 is 9.96 exponent negative 8 meter. Okay, last question, example number 10. What is the least thickness? Least thickness minimum is the minimum thickness of a soap film with a pure dark when viewed with the sodium light 589. Okay, reflector perpendicular to the frame. The reflected index of the soap solution is 1 point. 3.8 okay so for this case we must draw out first because this question say a soup frame so usually soup frame here is oh, we have three layer okay the first layer is air second layer is the film 1.38 and the third layer inside is the is the air okay so the equation here is actually we are using case 2 and the question already mentioned okay uh, it will appear dark Okay, so when you appear that, meaning that this is actually destructive. Okay. So when you say destructive, and then this is case 2, meaning that the equation that we can use is 2nt equals to m lambda. Okay, where m here must equal to 1. Okay, so substitute in 2n is 1.38t equals to 1 lambda 589.3 milli nanometer. Okay, therefore the thickness here we will get 214 nanometer. 
Okay, so that's all for this subtopic. We'll continue with the next subtopic. See you. Bye.